Hello everyone, welcome to Miss McLennan's YouTube channel. This is lesson two and we're going to do shibori dyed paper towel roses today. So what you need is some paper towel and you need your food dye from last week and you need uh, some skewers um, or you could have a um, chopstick or a straw, some rubber bands and sticky tape or string. So. Now shibori is a Japanese dyeing technique and it involves folding, twisting and tying cloth and then dyeing it to make patterns. But we're going to do it in paper towel today. So first of all, this is the first one you're going to do. So just folding in squares. So I'm just going to fold in half, half again, half again and half again. And the second one I'm going to do is triangles. So I'm going to fold it in a triangle. And another triangle. And another triangle. And another triangle. Okay, I'm going to keep those there. And the third one I'm going to do, let's get another piece of paper towel, is I'm going to roll it up like, like a um, cylinder. And I'm going to put rubber bands on it. So you can put one in the middle and keep going. You can put as many rubber bands on it as you like. So I would probably put about five on. It's up to you. And make sure they're quite nice and tight because we're going to dip this in the dye. And okay, so you get the idea of that, but I would I would keep going. I'd probably make those rubber bands a bit tighter than that. So then what you do is you can dip it in the food dye. So dipping different colours and seeing what happens. I'm going to dip that corner in the red. You can see that. Um, I'm going to dip this corner in the green. You can see that. And I've run out of yellow, so I'm going to I've got a pink though. I'm going to dip this in the pink. I have got blue, so I might even put the blue over the top of the red. And I wonder what happened. Wonder what will happen there. Let me think about that one. So I'll put that one to dry, and the same with the folded square one. So have a play around with that. See the colours blending in. This won't take you long to do. So green. And pink. And I might put the green one back in the blue. Put that one down. And this one, which is the one with the rubber bands, you can either dip that in or you could use a paintbrush and just paint all over it with the food dye. So I would keep doing that and keep painting till I covered the whole thing. Like that. Like so. So once you've done that, you can open them up carefully and I'll just open up one for you. Open it up and you can see what you've made. See what patterns you've made. So that's that one. And spread them out to dry. So pop them in front of the heater. I'd, I'd spread, them, spread them all out in front of the heater to dry for 10 minutes or so. So here's some I prepared earlier and they're nice and dry. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make them into paper towel roses as something fun to do and something to pretty to put around your house or to give to somebody. So I would cut each piece in half long ways. So that will give you two pieces like so. And then you need to either your chopstick or your skewer or your straw you first of all need to fold down the top so fold down the top and this is going to be the top of your row so this is I forgot to say you need PVA as well or hobby glue so a bit of glue along there fold that down along the top and then you're going to wrap that around your skewer or your straw or your stick maybe I'm going to use this chopstick Hold it a bit on an angle. And when you wrap, try and get the top of it a little bit uneven because you want it to make it look like a rose. 
and I would put two or three pieces on each one. So fold that down again and I would glue that. I'm just doing it in a bit of a hurry now and go around like that. And you can see I'm starting to get a, a bit of a rose effect there. Now I would put another piece on that and make it three each rose. So once you've done that, you could either put a rubber band on it or you can get a bit of sticky tape, a little bit of sticky tape there and just fasten the bottom. Like that, that's sticking up there. You might like just to add a little bit of glue. Okay, and there's another rose for you. So here's some I made the other day. These, are, these have got three pieces. Oops. <laughs> and you could put them in a vase. You could give them to someone special in your house. Um, you could make a whole bouquet. Have some fun. And think about the science as well. So why do the colours uh, absorb into each other? What properties does the paper towel have? Why do the colours blend? What new colours have you made? And think of any other words that you can think of, like um, absorption, uh, porous. What does porous mean? So if you don't know what porous means, maybe you can ask someone. Is paper towel porous? Okay, guys, we'll see you next time. Have fun with that and make some paper towel roses. Bye.